A length of metal wire is attached to a fixed point and hangs vertically. Okay, so you attach a mass here and then you hang it. Just don't hang yourself, can already. Masses are then suspended from the wire. Assume the cross sectional area of the wire remains constant and we have a stress strain graph. What is represented by the shaded area? Hmm. Area. I will take half times, I mean, this value here is the stress, right? Let's say stress is sigma, or rather I just write like stress times strain. Okay. Area. What is stress? U before exam. Yeah, but also force per unit area. What is strain? You after exam, your brain is very strained. No lah, it's also extension per unit original length. Okay, let's look at the, because I see uh, this one, a lot of strain energy, strain energy, strain energy, strain energy, so I must try to find strain energy. This is half Fe over Al0. You see this half Fe here? Ah, this one is strain energy, right? So this one is strain energy. Half Fe, huh? What is area multiplied by original length? Area. Area multiplied by length. Feels like volume. Smells like volume. I think it's volume. And so it's D. Okay. So AL is volume. Yeah. Furthermore, it also says here that the area remains constant. We are making the assumption. So in this case, you see down here is volume. So just uh, start with the equation to represent the area. Try to see how to match it with the options A, B, C, and D. I saw strain energy. I saw half Fe. So this part is strain energy. Half Fx or half Fe. Okay, E or X here is extension. And then what I followed up with was just to compare the equations and find that AL is volume. That's why the answer is D.